What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to remove objects from your footage. Keep in mind, there are so many different ways to do this. I'm just showing you some of the very basic ways, especially for new video editor using Resolve. And you just want to quickly remove something that's distracting in your framing. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, take this footage for an example. As you notice, there's this microphone right here in the middle. And the first method is to use a clean plate. Clean plate basically means that you have a footage of just all the props and items sometimes you can even have a clean plate of the subject without the microphone or sometimes you might have lighting and boom mics I've took two different clean plates just in case the color shift and everything so there's one without the subjects and one with a subject and as you notice there's no microphone so we can use some of these footages and obviously the main clip so in this particular case if you did have a clean plate like this then there are a few ways to do this one way is just to put the clean plate right on top of your main clip. Make sure it is selected. Go into the crop tool and just crop it down. This might work. This might not work for some. But I'm just going to demonstrate it to you anyway. So you know you have options. So as you can see, you can still see that. Then what we can do is pop right in here and soften it. Okay. You can soften it. You can still kind of see it there. Sometimes this is the quickest way if you can get away with not having this color shift. And of course, you can always go into color tab and increase the gamma a little bit. And as you notice, it's still a little bit there. Okay, it's almost gone. It's not perfect, but of course, sometimes it doesn't work. Like in this case, you can still see a little bit of that shift in color right in the middle here. And of course, you could always go back to the color tab and tweak around with the colors and tweak around with the exposure just to get it right. However, I'm going to show you different methods just so that you can choose whichever you feel comfortable with. So if that doesn't work, Let's jump on to method two. Again, grab that clean plate, put it right on top. And this time we're gonna jump right into color. In here, these are my basic color correction nodes. What you wanna do, just go ahead and create a serial node. You could hold down Alt S. You're gonna need to create an alpha output and connect the alpha output. And then we're gonna jump down here and start creating a window around the microphone. I'm just roughly estimating it. After that, you can kind of bring it in. It doesn't necessarily have to be accurate, but just make it as close to the object that you want to remove as much as possible. Just like that. And I'm gonna turn that off to still see the offset in exposure but first I'm gonna crank up the softness of the outside just crank it up you zoom in and I'm gonna play around with the gamma a little bit just kind of brighten it play around with the lift just to make sure that the black of the couch stays black now keep in mind this is a static shot meaning the camera is not moving however if there's movement in the camera or if the object that you're trying to remove move ever so lightly go into the tracker and track the object so that's the advantage of using windows in the color tab versus using crop in the edit page and that is it so the next method is what if you don't have a clean plate everything's already set what can you do in post and keep in mind this is very taxing on your GPU. It uses a lot of your GPU memory. So what you want to do, again, go into your color tab, Alt S, create that new node, go down to window, draw a window around the object you want to remove, go up to open effects, come down to object removal, drag that and put it into your node. Now in here, you have the option to show mask overlay so you know which area, or which part of the footage is being analyzed. Click on scene analysis. Now, depending on how powerful your GPU is this might take some time and um, build clean plate you're gonna notice that there's that shift in exposure here and it didn't remove properly depending on the nature of your footage and how much of a contrast between what you're trying to remove and what remains therefore you have to tweak around with your settings quite a bit as you can see here I've adjusted the range also the blend mode increasing decreasing the window one thing you got to keep in mind is every time you shift around these settings make sure you click on build clean plate now if your playback is not smooth like this footage here what you can do is right click on that node go to node cache click on and go up to playback render cache and user once that is done you're going to notice the number of the node is red wait for it to turn blue there you go and now you should have a smooth playback and now i'm going to show you another example this little 
little outlet right over here is a bit distracting so i'm going to remove that create a new node put a window around the object you want to remove drop in object removal click on scene analysis once that is done click on build clean plate and there you go and obviously you're going to notice that it did a much better job than the microphone because there is no shift in the color versus where the microphone is a blend of orange and again for the playback to play smoothly make sure you click on that node and go down to node cache on wait for that number to turn blue and you are all set obviously guys there are many different ways for you to remove objects in resolve you could actually use photoshop to remove it and bring in that still file back into resolve or you could jump into fusion if you know how to use fusion and use planar tracker and clone tools there are many so many different ways for you to to remove objects here i'm just showing you some of the basic for any new video editors out there that just getting into this and you've made a mistake during production and there are things that you just want to remove so this is some of the quickest way to do that so if you find this video useful please give it a like and share it with others if you are new here subscribe i make resolve tutorial color grading and cinematic shorts obviously anything related to filmmaking and on that note Stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.